When you design a web page, you're most likely going to use some sort of images throughout your site, right? You can either shoot these images yourself, but often it's easier just to gather them off of the net. But there's one problem with that. They're not yours to take. You can go to Google Images, type in the image, and something will pop up. But they're not really yours. So if you're looking for legitimate images to grab for your site, I found a couple of sites that are going to give them to you for free. It's very easy to do. The first website is called freephoto.com, and it's filled with a database of free photos. They have over 43,000 images, 43,000. So most likely you're going to find what you need off of this website. They have a search engine. You can go ahead and just search for the image that you're looking for. And I looked for cats. So look at all these different cats that I have here. Now it gives you a little description, how big the image is. If you want to save an image off the Internet, it's really easy. All you have to do is right-click on it. And it's going to go give you this menu. You scroll down to Save Image As. Give it a name. Make sure you remember where you saved it. And voila, it's yours. They also have, it, it, this website's design, um, laid out kind of strangely. They have weird categories, but again, it's a good database. So if you look on the left-hand side, they have these categories here, business, diary pages, Europe, Nature, other, seasonal, site info. So just kind of strange categories, but you can get what you want. So this is the other category. Like, this is weird, too. 911 emergency, church, food and drink. What? Anyways, click on food and drink just to give you an example of what they give you. Then it lists all the food and drink pictures, categories that they have here. So you can see here, once you get into it, there, there's a number, you're, a number of categories. You're going to find what you need. So I clicked on tea and crumpets. Look at that, all those pictures of tea and crumpets. I don't know why you'd ever want one of those. And then you just click on the image, it gives you a larger image. And I just, just to double, double be sure, does that make sense? Just to make sure, what you should do is scroll down to the bottom and read the conditions of free use, because it's going to tell you exactly what you can do with that image. It's only for non-commercial websites and for making cards and things like that. If you're going to sell anything off of your website having to do with tea and crumpets, then you can't use these images. For another database, I'm going to take you over to freeimages.co.uk. And they, um, they've got uh, only 2,500 images, but again, it's another resource for you to check out. You can use their search engine or you just go to their full gallery listings. Pick the category that you want. Say you're looking for space and planets and stars. It's going to ask you which galleries you want to look at, and then it'll take you to the images. Look, it's the planet Earth. If you're looking for pictures of planet Earth or anything else, what I want you to do is check out the details of these two sites on our website. The address is techtv.com slash call for help. help. Send me some emails, cat at techtv.com. What kind of images are on your website? You want to see an image I got? Yeah. This actually is from my website. Really? On leoville.com. And I just, I'm just i going to show this uh, new printer that I got, a really high-end uh, I'm Art kind of printer scared. on the screensaver snipe, but oh, this is okay. look at this, look at this. I, this is on watercolor yeah. paper. It's a picture oh, of me. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can get that from my website. That is really cool. Isn't that pretty? Right and, on. and, and you can use it if you want it. You can, so it's free for everyone to use. Yeah, but I don't know what you would want. <laughs> Jeremy Sutton did that for me. Right on. Thank you, Kat. You're welcome. Appreciate it.